And a big thanks to our sponsor, Gas Lamp Quarter Mardi Gras Parade, San Diego's largest Mardi Gras celebration. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Daily Aztec Sports Talk. I am Matt. I'm Pat, like always. Like always, he's still Matt. Hey, we're going to talk a couple big, big topics here on the Mesa. Um, Matt knows, and we're, I know, we're going to tell you all about it. Um, where should we start? Malik Pope. It's a good much, place to start. Yes. The fans love him. They love whenever, they love his athleticism, love that they just don't know what to expect from him. Raw athlete. Well, he's catching the attention of some NBA scouts. Most, a lot of NBA scouts. And most notably, Chad Ford of ESPN, who has him projected as the number 16 overall pick in the 2015 NBA draft. Matt, your thoughts or anything else to add to that? Well, I mean, we need to take Chad Ford's word as a solid word. Chad Ford, if you don't like him, that's fine. If you don't like what he did, adjusting his previous mock drafts to make him look better... Uh, yeah, we don't like that, but no. he's connected in the NBA when he has the ESPN name next to his name tag. People are going to talk to him. Scouts are going to yeah. talk to him. GMs are going to talk to him. So he knows what he's talking about. Um, a lot of scouts have been at San Diego State practices, which we're not allowed in. Media's not allowed in, but he knows that they've been there because they talk to him. Uh, they like what they see, and that's been enough for him to put him at this 16 overall pick. I remember seeing Chad Ford. Um, he was talking to somebody else on ESPN. He was saying, please... Talk me out of making Malik Pope a lottery pick because I love this guy that much. Wow. So that's frightening to SDSU fans who thought they had another year of Malik Pope who would come back with Zylan Cheatham, Trey Cowell, Kevin Zabo, Jeremy Hemsley, and a whole young crop of guys that would make a pretty gosh darn good team. Yeah. He um, should stay. He should stay. So he yeah, what do you stay. think? That's, that's, I think that's the basic premise of where we're getting here is he should stay because he missed so much time in high school. Okay, He broke his leg twice. Didn't play his entire senior year. Pretty much didn't play most of his junior year. Started full practices in December. Didn't play competitive basketball again until December. Right. And now, you know, he'll show flashes of, of what he can do, but the rustiness is still there. You know, he's a raw freak athlete, and he needs another year to develop. And also, I think another point is, Zylan Cheatham is not playing. And him and Zylan Cheatham are best buds they're tight just watch the two of them whenever they're together they are just like they are inseparable kind of like me and patrick that's right go on anyway um yeah the thing about malik pope is that he's an incredibly you know amazing athlete but his defense not great nine times out of ten his post game not great nine times out of ten. He's very good in transition. And very, he's very, very exciting transition. to watch. And people are going to like him based on potential. But he's definitely not ready. And I, a silky shot. A very yeah, silky yeah. shot, which a lot of the team doesn't have. Like Winston Shepard, who did airball a layup that one time. That's true. But I That's think if true. Malik Pope went to the league after this year, he'd be a guy caught in the D-League. Um, and his AAU coach told Mark Ziegler of the San Diego Union Tribune that Malik Pope is not ready, and I will tell him that. So he's going to have a lot of people... Talking in his ear, he's going to have fools like us tweeting on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see what happens. But another thing with SDSU basketball, um, we're not going to go ahead and talk about the San Jose State game because, let's face it, San Diego State is going to wallop San Jose State. By a lot. By a lot. They so will, They will outsports them, guaranteed. Yes, will it be enough to get into the AP Top 25? I think so. Uh, I think so. The basis of teams in front of them are losing. Look, yes. Texas lost on Tuesday against Oklahoma. Texas was the only other team that was in the others receiving votes category that was ahead of the Aztecs. Right. Um, Texas had 70 points. SDSU had 64. Look, San Diego State wins this game. They leapfrog Texas at the very least. There's a lot of shakeup going on in the lower part of the top 25 with Oklahoma State and West Virginia. Who knows where they're going to end up? VCU right. could lose on Saturday. Who knows? We'll see. But I think at the end of the day, on Monday morning when the polls come out, number 25 in the nation. What do you think? Yeah, I completely agree. I think that San Diego State is better as they have looked than New Mexico during the year. They were only yeah. a four-point favorite going into that game because as much as there is an East Coast bias that we know, people on the East Coast don't pay attention to New Mexico and San Diego State. Yeah. It is known that the pit is one of the hardest places to win in the country, yeah. and San Diego State beat the Lobos by 17. So I definitely And it, and it wasn't that close. No, either. it wasn't. It was not that close. Another shout out to another SDSU sport. The women's golf team has created a viral video of trick shots, so proud including of the incredible, amazing putt of six putts in a row and one of the balls went over. It's it's absolutely incredible. You have to we watch it. We are so proud. It's all over Twitter, all over Facebook, and it has over 260,000 views on YouTube. And, and, and escalating like very fast. Yeah, almost like, as much as these videos get. Like exponential. Yeah. 
like like that thing you never paid attention to in math class, that's what's happening. Yeah, right like now. we've got some competition, Patty. Yeah. Yeah. We'll outcompete them though. Yeah. In the video search. We'll outsports them. We'll outsports them video wise. They might out golf us, but you know. That's something else. Hey, I'm carrying a three game winning streak here. Uh yeah. Okay. What was that about the about the three game winning streak? Big thank you to our sponsor, Gas Lamp Quarter Mardi Gras Parade, San Diego's largest Mardi Gras celebration. 